Hey everybody, happy Sunday afternoon. I wanted to do a quick nutrition check-in video and I had a really cool Zoom conference call with uh, some great people on Friday afternoon and it was really insightful. I'm gonna be starting a nutrition challenge tomorrow, April 6th, Monday, and it's gonna go through the end of the month. Uh, every day will be a new focus for the day and uh, your job is to complete that focus and to post about it, comment, share any ideas that you may have with the group and help each other stay really accountable and on track during this time. And I wanted to quickly share a, another strategy that might be useful when it comes to nighttime snacking or just reaching for um, extra food when you know maybe you didn't actually want that. Um, and uh, this might be helpful for some of you. And I know for me it's helped um, keep my eating under control as well. So one of the main things that um, I personally will do is when I have a food craving or something, you know, I'll eat and I'll eat my dinner and then I'll want to have um, my kryptonite is yogurt with chocolate chips, as most people know. So I have to, you know, I could eat the whole container if I wanted to in one sitting. So something that I do to help that not happen, because when it does happen, you know, or I eat too much, then I end up feeling really nauseous and sick, and then I regret um, doing that, and then I kind of say, oh man, now, you know, why did I do that and have those guilty feelings? So um, I'm sure some of you can relate to feeling that way. Um, so what I do now that I've had kind of some more time to really reflect on things is the first thing is really just pausing. Um, I know that sounds kind of simple, but taking a breather, pause, and hey, do a quick check-in with my body. How am I feeling? What's my uh Am I really full on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being starving and 10 being on the floor feeling super sick from being stuffed? I want to kind of be about a 5 or 6, um, very satisfied but not over the top full. So uh, my kind of um, standard, you know, it could I, if someone came over to me and said, hey, do you want to go for a run or do you want to go for... Um, you want to do a quick hit workout or something, something that got me up, would I be too full to do that? Or would I have enough, just enough energy to feel satisfied and be like, okay, yeah, I have, I can go and be active. Um, or, you know, if I ate too much, then I might say, hey, no, I got to hit the couch because I'm really not feeling it today. So for me, I want to have just enough food where I can feel like I am satisfied um, and, you know, be able to, you know, move around and not feel that uncomfortable fullness feeling. So I try to eat um, by really tuning into how my body's feeling and saying, okay, nope, you're, you're good. You had some yogurt, you had some chocolate chips. If I had more, would I be able to go outside and go for a walk or would I need to hit the couch and just feel yucky? So that little bit of a pause says, okay, uh, I've been the yucky route, I've sat on the couch, didn't feel so good, um, and I've been the active route where, you know, not necessarily that I actually did the exercise, sometimes I didn't, but I knew that if I had to or if I, you know, was planning on it, I could. So that's kind of where I aim for. I want to eat just enough where I can satisfy my hunger levels, maybe I, I put in that good sweet treat. But I don't go overboard, so I feel like I have to, you know, sit on the couch or feeling that regret or guilt or then, oh man, why did I do that? And now tomorrow I got to start over and eh. No, I want to cut that off so that I can feel good and the next day I can still be on a good routine and a schedule. I don't always have to start over. Now, not to say that if you do fall off the wagon where you do have a day where it's not as on track as you want to be, it's perfectly okay to start over the next day. That's what you want to do. You want to be able to get back on track. Um, but if you can, you know, kind of talk to yourself and really pause in the moment and say, okay, I know I want to feel this certain way. I want to feel 
like I have energy and I feel good and I want to wake up tomorrow and still feel that consistent energy, maybe that will have give you a little bit of um, insight on what to do next with your eating. So um, something to think about and I hope um, this might be, you know, something to consider, you know, just in the moment when you have those thoughts and you're racing and um, give yourself um, a second to really reflect on what you want to feel and where you want to be. Um, and I think that can definitely um, make a world of difference when you're struggling with this. So if you have any questions on this or you want to talk further, please reach out. Um, and I hope you guys are all in for the challenge starting tomorrow. And we will have a great start to the week. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday.